So when we talk about space travel, we know for the fact that it's still quite expensive. Each resupply mission of the ISS has to be carefully calculated and thought of as to what we are putting on the rocket as each add-on kg counts. And when it comes to water, we know that water has mass. So resupplying water on each mission isn't the ideal thing to do. So we humans are quite good at solving such problems. So developing and maintaining resources on board the ISS is a vital thing to do because we have to keep our astronauts healthy and alive on the ISS. So two major component of being alive is oxygen and water. First, let's talk about water. When the ISS started, there were two main sources of supply of water. One was the resupply missions from the Earth and second was the used water which is from the sweat of the astronauts, the pee of the astronauts and moisture, moisture in the air and each and every droplet from the used water is squeezed out from the environment by the water system that's on board the ISS. It's then treated in the same manner as we treat our water on the earth by the process known as distillation. So distillation is a process in which when you heat the water, the impurities settle down and the water evaporates and the vapor then is cooled to get the pure water again because the impurities are left behind. But in space, it's hard to distill the water because the impurities and the water don't separate as there is no gravity in space to pull the impurities down. Hence, we have to produce our own artificial gravitational field. To do that, there are refrigerator-sized distillers that are drums that spin to produce the artificial gravity needed. The contamination in the water is pressed against the side of the drum and the vapor settles in the middle. The vapor is then pumped out into the filter. Then the vapor is treated with other chemical elements so that any other remaining impurities in the water is removed completely so that the water is then drinkable. We left the oxygen part before. Let's come back to that. So oxygen on board the ISS is, uh, is produced by the process known as electrolysis. Electrolysis is a process in which water molecule is taken and broken down into its component that is hydrogen and oxygen. Oxygen is then combined with another molecule of oxygen to form O2 and that's what the astronauts breathe on board the ISS. The hydrogen which was the waste product in this process was vented out into space. But we already knew about the process known as Sabatier process which was discovered earlier in the 1900s by a French chemist and a Nobel laureate. Paul Sabatier. His process used nickel catalyst to interact with hydrogen which was vented out before and carbon dioxide that the humans produce on board the ISS and even on earth at very high temperatures and pressures to produce water and methane. Methane is vented out into space and water that was produced from this process helped NASA to further increase its crew size on board the ISS from 3 to 6. So these two processes are the processes that is used on the ISS. That is the Sabatier process and recycling process which is done using distillation process. These are the two processes which keep our astronauts on board the ISS healthy and alive. So yeah, this is all for today. I hope you liked the video. And yeah, I'll be uploading every Thursday from now on, I guess. So please like the video, share the video with friends. Subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more of my content. And yeah, as always, stay curious, stay awesome.